Dog Sandwich. Boing! Hello and welcome. I am Matt. Today we'll be talking about Norman Foster. We have 12 vacancies, 12 cabins, 12 vacancies. Colin, what are you doing? Hey, you in the shower? Wee, wee, wee! Okay, that's Norman Bates, not Norman Foster. Oh, um. Good day, mate. You want a pint? That is Foster's Lager. Come on, Foster, my son! You own the goal! Get it out there! Oh, that's Ben Foster, goalkeeper of Man United. Then who in the world is Norman Foster? Well, that is the question. <laughs> Norman Foster was an architect who was born 32 BCA. Among his recent projects are some of the most remarkable architectural projects of the last years, including the reconstruction of the Reichstag in Berlin, the design of the Great Court at the British Museum in London, the Millennium Bridge, the first new Thames crossing for more than a hundred years, and the new Hong Kong International Airport the world's largest airport terminal. Good evening, Mr. Bud. What are you doing, Matt? I am an architect. Oh, of course you are. I have been working on what you asked for. Chocolate cake! Chocolate cake! Chocolate cake! No, a house. Look. Oh. Go on, in you get, in you go. In you go. Get in. It's a bit dark. Here, take my watch. It has a light on it. I feel so depressed. <laughs> This was the kind of thing Foster was against, not depriving birds of chocolate cake, but of being inhumane in general. Many of his projects, such as the Commerzbank in Frankfurt, and his Hong Kong office, and even Stansted Airport, were designed to be open, so a lot more natural light could enter. He strove to impart a sense of humanity into an otherwise futuristic office environment. Another thing he did was put elevators outside buildings so they could be serviced more easily and create open plans in the centre of the spaces. <laughs> 